How much is Scherzer going to pitch tonight? Hopefully four. That's why we sent Joe with him. <laughs> Joe, our uh, trainer, is with him in Syracuse. Not why. He doesn't need a baby. Just, believe me, Max is fine. He's going to do um, what's needed. Hopefully four. Hope the other team lets him do that. And I hope, uh, you know, if he ends up pitch, starts the fifth inning, it'll be with a low pitch count. But uh, he felt good yesterday. So uh, I hope that goes well tonight and we can get Max back on Monday. It's very much like Jeff, too. You know, he's played left and right. And he, uh, you know, sometimes the angle is the same, playing first base. Jeff, I think, feels a little more comfortable in right field. He likes both of them. He could play center field. But, um, you know, very much like the last time he played right field, uh, I think a few days ago. It just feels – he works out there. I think in a perfect world, he's probably uh, – the most comfortable in left field because he's played it the most, but I also don't want to move Mark around. I think Mark does a good job in left field. And, um, you know, I don't want to weaken us at two spots. But, you know, Mark, uh, we keep hoping that, uh, you know, Mark will get it going a little bit in that capacity. Did McGill's outing last night change anything for you guys in terms of next I don't steps? change is the word. We, we, we were waiting to see whether we want I think he's going to, I know. I think when I let, last time I talked to Billy earlier in the afternoon that we were going he was going to pitch one more. There's some thought about him finishing the inning with two outs and then starting the next inning, trying to give him two ups. That, that's the last hurdle, and I think that's probably the way we'll go. That was planned a couple hours ago.